the presentations of cardiogenic shock could make the identification of these patients pretty tricky. For example, we sometimes talk about them being wet or dry, or we also talk about them being warm and well perfused, or having cold extremities. If a patient is both dry and warm, chances are it is not cardiogenic shock. If a patient is both wet, i.e. volume overloaded, as well as cool to the touch, chances are that's classic cardiogenic shock. If a patient appears clinically dry, but the patient is cool to the touch, well, then this patient is probably uvolemic cardiogenic shock. The one that I find a bit trickier is the patient who appears volume overload, but they have warm extremities. These patients are tricky because this could be a mixed form of cardiogenic shock. Or, making things even trickier, they could have vasodilatory cardiogenic shock. Hack up to the authors, don't forget to check out the Vasopressor and Inotrope Handbook.